Have you ever been faced with a really hard problem at work or at home that you just couldn't figure out? And then all of a sudden, you come up with an answer? It's called intuition. It's your brain's most powerful tool to solve complicated problems. So today, I'm gonna to put your intuition to the test along with some of our volunteers. We're gonna do a simple experiment that scientists call the candle problem. Hi, I'm Sri. Hi, Cassie, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, ready to put your intuition to the test? Let's do it. Okay, <laughs> so we're gonna just perform a very simple experiment. Okay, so what I want you to do, I want you to imagine you're sitting in your house and the power goes off. So it's darkness. And all you have available is a box of matches, a candle, and a box of tacks. What I need you to do is use these materials to mount the candle onto that wall so that it stays upright, light it, and illuminate the room. You think you can do that? I can try. Give it a go. Hmm. Just go right into this, right? So while Cassie's figuring out a solution, pay close attention. Are your ideas matching hers? Would you use the tax that way? <laughs> Intuition is in fact. But we want to make sure, because we're going to light that candle, so we want to make sure that we don't burn that wall down. <laughs> Voila. Wow, excellent. So one interesting thing is you actually didn't use all the items on the table to accomplish the task, right? Okay. So, so what we were missing, well, you used the tacks, you used the candles, and you did use the match, but there's one more item on this table that you didn't use. Do you see it? The box. Exactly, the box. Because what you did is you just viewed this as a box of tacks, and it was the tacks that were functional to you. So if I were to do this task, I could take a tack, and I could push a hole through the box and actually affix it or mount it to the wall like this. And once it's sturdy and stable, I could then take the candle, light up the bottom to get some wax down, let it melt, get the candle nice and sturdy, and it'd be mounted to the wall, and then I could light it. When you actually did your solution, you must have had that eureka moment. The light bulb turns on, and you came up with a solution to use three tacks. Well, there's actually a system in the brain called the adaptive unconscious. So what does that mean? Well, basically, you've got a few regions in your brain that are collectively working together as a team in active thought that are trying to take past experiences and relate it to the present problem. So what would a past experience here? That this is a tap, and it's very useful in mounting things to a wall. Does that kind of make sense? Makes clear sense. Okay, great. <laughs> the great thing about the candle problem is it only requires a few household items. Try it out on your friends. Test their intuition. 